gobble, 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 gobble. It's, and the reason why I do that is because this stuff is so stop right here. If you still. Yo, 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 what's up? This is Jeremy from JJ Innovation Garage in the Peach Capital of the State, baby. All right, boys and girls, it is about 6.30. What's the day? I don't keep up with days, I keep up with time. Uh, the 16th of February. All right, so, 6.30, it's about, the good Lord blessed us with like 75 degrees. Praise Jesus! Boy, I tell you, springtime's just right around the corner, and you know what that means, don't you? Gobble, 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 gobble. It's daggone thunder chicken time. Uh, turkey hunting. So, so let me tell you what I got going on. Uh, Elijah's already gone for the day, but even though he's gone, that doesn't mean operations is still going, so it's OT time. So. With that being said, um, got the Mustang doors and the deck lid in the boot. I had to let my camera charge, now I got a good battery. So I'm fixing to go in here, set up the camera and let you see, cause I'm a one man band, one man show. So I got the first coat of CRE epoxy on. I mixed it two to one to one. Um, I have my solder jet. Uh, high build primer gun. It's a uh, 100B. Uh, I know a lot of people's probably gonna get their panties and their feathers all in a wad and whatever. What tip you running, Jay? 2.5. What are you spraying at, Jay? 45. What's your pattern? Full throttle. What's your overlap? 75%. So I'm using, it's 75 degrees, I'm using slow reducer and it has just a regular hardener which is this right here i put it in uh these little these little juhas right here and the reason why i do that is because this stuff is so expensive you don't want to waste none of it i used to get it in the gallons uh and it was in a can like this it was in a can like this and you wasted so much so i started going back to quartz and then you put it on the mixing thing like this right here, like so, and then you hit the button right there and that keeps it going. So I have this from Alpha Figments from the spray source. I just hadn't used it yet. So we getting there boys and girls. So I've already put one coat down and I'm gonna let that, I've been letting that flash off about 20 minutes. So I'm gonna stop right here. If you're still with me, I appreciate you subscribe make sure you share it with your friends uh comment tell me what you got going on if you got a build uh email us at jgenovationgarage at gmail.com to our project manager brent and uh or brett however you want to call him i call him both brett and brent and i want you to uh shoot us a message let us know what you got and we can handle it so i'm gonna take a pause right here uh, don't go away and I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna show you what I got going on Break but I'm telling you we're about half a little bit over halfway stacked because think about it If it's got camera microphone, all right, so all right boys and girls. That's a wrap on that. So Put my mask back in this bag and then we'll be good to go let the fans run a little bit then after that's all said and done, then what we'll do is, uh, let's take a walk outside and see, I believe it's dark 30. Yep, she's dark 30. So what we'll do on that part is we'll let that set for a little bit. Probably, probably about a week. Y'all hear them, you hear them tree frogs? Boy, that 70 some degree weather today brought them out. So here's the thing. So, I appreciate her singing one of you. Again, we're gonna let that, that, that right there was, I guess, 
two, three good coats, probably more than that. But we'll let that set out. And then after that cures out a little bit, then we'll bring it out here on the runway, right here on the runway, bring it out here on the runway. When the big eye in the sky comes out, get that UV on it. Nothing beats a UV. Let it get a couple hours of UV and then set it back in the shade and let it cool off and then put a couple hours in the UV. Then we'll let that lay out a little bit and then we'll start final cutting it. We'll set the doors on the body. Let me walk up here and uh, I'm gonna have to turn this radio off because I get with copyright. Hey Siri, turn my radio off. How about like that? Pretty smart, huh? Per pretty smart she turned it off for me so so this is what we're gonna do we got the doors and the deck lid so now we'll put the doors on the deck lid put the fenders on get all the gaps right get everything all that squared away once all that squared away then we'll start this should be the final block doing the panel block from panel to panel and everything will be great so let me show you what this is May 6th, May 7th, 2023, we're having a custom airbrush paint class from 8 o'clock in the morning to 6 o'clock at night. It's open to everybody. I hadn't really been pushing it that hard for a while, been taking a break, but I'm telling you, we're about half, a little bit over halfway stacked. Uh, cooking with Anthony's gonna be cooking. You need to go to his page. He's on uh, Facebook, he might be on Instagram. Uh, he might be on YouTube and I'm talking about full-fledged cooking. I'm not talking about hot dogs and hamburgers And uh, we're gonna have all the water airbrushes Make sure you go to the Facebook page and follow it. There's an event page on there You need to go and follow it as well because I'm telling you, you don't want to miss out John Wilmot from California will be here EZ will be here from Florida I will be here Elijah will be here and it might be somebody else here don't know yet can't let that out of the bag but I did spray this hood right here, this is the old Mustang hood, and we flaked it out. And the reason why we flaked it out is we're gonna do some graphics on it. We're gonna do a video on it, let you boys and girls see what's going on. So, again, I appreciate every single one of you. If you stuck this long, we're at the three minute mark. I'm trying to keep this production down to about nine to 10 minutes and a little bit of information. So, it was CRE mixed two to one, sprayed the first coat, the second coat, the last coat, I don't want to call it a flow coat, but the last coat, spray it down super slick, sprayed it two to one to one, slow reducer, medium or regular hardener, and laid it out, let that um, let that be like it is. And I'm gonna show you what it's gonna look like when it's all dried out. When it's all dried out, it's gonna be like this 68C10 hood. It's gonna be slick, boys and girls. So the deal with that is, the slicker you make your finish, the less you have to cut. Cause think about it. If it's got a lot of orange peel, a lot of orange peel, Jay, you ain't got a holler because you got this new, you got this camera microphone. All right. So here's the thing: if your last coat, if your coats are super orange peely, so it's raised up, and then you start blocking, you're going to cut a lot of material off before you even start getting it flat. So the slicker you can lay it, the less material you're going to waste, and you're going to keep your film build. So I appreciate every single one of you. If you stuck with me this far. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. We really appreciate you. I really do. Uh, so remember what I said, boys and girls. Don't worry about the man up the road. Don't worry about the man down the road. Sweep off your own front porch. Worry about sweeping off anybody else's. And put God first. And, and let the loose end drag. Peace, love, and chicken grease. I'm out.